Good morning. Day what? Three? This isn't six feet. Four? <laughs> Oh, look at her shirt. <laughs> United we stand, six feet apart. <laughs> so officially day three of isolation for you. Yeah, but I don't need to isolate anymore if everyone's got it. No, but like in public, yeah. like we're stuck at home. And the kids, since they tested positive yesterday, this is technically their day one, your day three. I tested last night, it was negative, which is great, but also I feel like garbage and I can't figure out why, so. That's really fun. Our friend offered to send over more tests if we need them, so I'm not afraid to test again and see. Brooks was up for a little bit last night. We got him up to change his diaper in the night, and then he had like 102.6 fever. It was pretty high. So we tried to give him medicine. He didn't want to take it, so we put him in a cool, lukewarm bath, gave him a popsicle, then he did take his medicine, and we put him back to bed, so. They actually slept through the night, which I'm thankful for. I slept on the couch still since I'm negative and she's positive, so. It's just kind of a weird, wacky time. What was Brooks's temperature this morning? I have forgotten. Mm. Lower than it was in the night, which is good. 100 maybe? As was between 100 and 101. Every, each time I did it, it was different. So their fever is a little bit lower than yesterday, which is good, but I'll just see what today looks like. I need you to either stay healthy or get sick super fast and get better super fast. I, I'm curious what's gonna happen as well. I feel like it's inevitable that I will get it since the whole house has it. I can't do that alone like you did. Yeah, it's a lot of work. I know. <laughs> so she's gonna go up and do some schoolwork. The kids are content on the couch watching Mickey Mouse. I'm gonna probably spoon feed them yogurt so that they just get some protein. They haven't had much of an appetite the last two days. Like yesterday they didn't even have Ritz with their lunch and they love Ritz. So try to get some protein in them and um, probably a lot of couch and TV time today. Hello babies, how do you feel? I'm still sick. Yeah. Brooksy, how do you feel? Sick. Sick. Yeah, he didn't even want clothes on this morning, which is good because he's got a fever. Well, the kids are down for naps. Um, Nellie has class in an hour that she's going to Zoom, and I think I'm going to rest because I'm feeling pretty crummy. But our friend who brought some goodies over yesterday, I asked her to bring a few more COVID tests, and then she said she was going to bring us dinner for tonight so that we don't have to cook and ended up really going above and beyond. So she brought us a lasagna and a few Lunchables for the kids. She brought some chicken noodle soup. The kids don't like juice, but she thought they might like this one since it has PJ masks on it. So we'll try that. And some immunity juice for Nellie and myself. French bread to go with dinner tonight. Brought some gummies for the kids, some fruit snacks. And then these are just little fun things for the kiddos. A color wonder coloring pages. The kids are loving Paw Patrol recently. Some bath bombs and sleep bath. I've never seen this before, but it's melatonin and essential oils. So we'll definitely try that soon. And then this Play-Doh cookie cutter set. And then of course a couple more COVID tests because I just want to see if I'm still negative over the next couple days. So we are feeling very loved and cared for by our sweet friend Jen here. And uh, I know our family would love to help, but they live in other states. So we're just trying to keep on keeping on here. And uh, I think I'm gonna go rest, maybe have some soup. See, hope that the kids nap and check their fevers again after. But it's definitely a strange few days. Why do I feel like I wanna say star date? <laughs> and put a niner in there. I don't even know what day it is. Well, it got me too. Don't know if that'll show up, but there's my positive test. So I'm down for the count. Nell is a little bit on the mend, which is nice. The kids had a pretty rough day, but it got a little better throughout the evening. And now I feel like a dumpster fire. So we're gonna switch and Nellie is gonna sleep on the couch and I'm gonna go to the bed because now she's afraid to sleep with me that I might give it back to her and we're just gonna just gonna keep giving it back to each other. It is nine o'clock and little Miss Everly has not gone to sleep yet. We talked to her about her birthday party at dinner tonight and now she just wants to think and talk about her birthday theme and she's asking for more tuck-ins, saying her water is empty, so she's just wound up do you want to say hi, bye? Hi, bye. Ah. <laughs> Are you way more than six feet apart? Yeah. Well, that's a wrap on Thursday. So, see you tomorrow. Good morning, buddy. 
How's my little guy? Mm, not great. Mm, sorry, bud. Oh. You wanna hug your mama? Yeah, mommy? Mm. Oh. Go out there. Okay. <laughs> so, good morning, Bubba. Good morning. Go downstairs. Where's Sissy? Go down. Where's Sissy? Do you see her? She's in here. Oh, there she is. Hey, are you okay? Abby, what's up, honey? You're not feeling great today, huh? I feel like today is worse for her than yesterday was in the way that she's acting. She doesn't even want a tablet and waffle, and that's like two of her favorite things ever. Honey. What does not want my favorite thing when I'm sick? What's your favorite thing when you're sick? I don't know. You don't know. <laughs> Kiddo. But you're really tired. You did not sleep enough last week. Yeah. How about that? Mm -hmm. It's a camera. What that? Hey, baby, that's Sissy not feeling well. What that? <laughs> Go give her some snuggles. Well, little guy seems to be feeling a little bit better. He's got some energy this morning. They haven't had much of an appetite, so I'm just kind of trying to get some cereal and pineapple into him. I let him choose all the cereal he wanted, and he got all four of the cereal boxes that we have. Meow. It is 8.45 and little girl actually did go to sleep. She was real whiny in our bed as you guys saw and almost fell asleep there. So she said she wanted to go back to bed and she did. She only slept for six hours last night and usually it's like 10. So we'll see uh, how badly this nap messes up our day. Usually they don't nap until about 12. So 8.45 is uh, really gonna throw off our schedule. How are you feeling, mama? I'm tired today. Yeah. But I'll get there. Yeah. You feel like you're having less symptoms? Yeah, I mean, getting there. Yeah, we're just tired from serving the kids and each other and trying to run a household with all four of us having COVID. But also sleeping on the couch isn't super restful and she was there last night. Also starting to feel behind and, and convicted about having just been doing nothing for several days. I feel like when you're sick, that's okay, but I know your I know. stuff doesn't stop for you. Schoolwork and running and all the well, things. I've been doing a lot of schoolwork, but yeah. I need, like I need to run. Mm -hmm. I have no energy, so I'm not sure how you're feeling. You're like four days ahead of me in this schedule. Maybe you have a little bit more energy than I do. It's foggy out there, buddy. Oh, why? Yeah, that's clouds that are low. This is the current view from our dining table. It's just foggy, gray. It's about how I feel. <laughs> Blue, it's a little bit blue, hiding behind the clouds. You're right, but yes, very foggy. <laughs> I'm glad you're feeling better today, bud. I thought she would. I know, yesterday. I acting yesterday, but maybe she's just beyond tired. Maybe today is her yucky day, and yesterday was his yucky day. His fever, I, we haven't taken his temperature, but he doesn't feel as hot to the touch. The last three days, his back, his head have just been so hot. So I feel like his fever is probably broken. These two seem to be on the mend. Me and Ev are not. You and me? Fist bump. <laughs> well, great. Then you guys go on a walk, and me and Ev will sleep for the next four hours. Okay. Okay. Should probably nap right now. Nap one of us is going to. We'll see how the day progresses. Well, good morning, angels. <laughs> They're too preoccupied. They both slept for about two hours. Hers was super early, his was right on time. And now they're playing with the toy that Miss Jen brought yesterday. What'd you make, buddy? Christmas tree. He stacked a bunch on top of each other and said, ta da! Yes! <laughs> Oh, hi. Nelly was the best today and took them both separately out on a walk. So he had his this morning while Ev was napping. And then she went out just a minute ago when I was getting him out of bed. So they both had a little outside time. 
which is nice. You wanna make a little face for the kitty? Oh, kitty, kitty! Oh, damn! <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's see. Wow, oh, you made a horsey! Yeah, 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 yeah! Yeah, 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 yeah! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Yeah, yeah, Watch out for Sheppy. Yeah, get up, get up! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Friday morning and I feel rotten. Nella's on the men. She said she's just tired. The kids mostly have their energy back today and no fevers, which is awesome. But everyone kind of has big feelings this morning. Little one has had a hard time. I'm just feeling like I can't move my body. This little guy didn't want me to change out of my jammies this morning. So we're all just trying to make it this morning. Coffee helps. Kids are eating toast and berries. Feels like another day of a lot of TV for my body. We'll see. Yesterday they got outside and played with some new toys and that was nice. What new toys? He played with the Play-Doh and the um, Paw Patrol markers for Miss Jen. And I feel like maybe we overexerted ourselves. We being me, I overexerted myself. <laughs> Bath and toys and walks and all the things. I just want to sit and do nothing. Nell tested positive Monday, so she is four days in on the mend. The kids were only positive Wednesday. They bounced back pretty quickly. And then I just tested positive two days ago. So we're all at different parts in our healing. And I tell you, I am losing this race because I got it last. So they're all on the upward swing and I'm still down in the dumps. <laughs> ah! I just want to go back to bed. Help, send help. Well, it is afternoon now. I took a nap while the kids were napping and ended up passing out for like four hours. Four? I think so. Really long, yeah. Uh, Mama got the kids up and made them lunch and now she's bringing them outside. And she's a, uh, oh no, 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 no. Her bike just fell over. Yikes. And now she's bringing the kids outside to play. I think she's gonna take them on a walk and a bike ride. And I'm gonna go start working on dinner. I've been hacking up my lungs for like 36 hours. So I'm really sure that you wanna eat the food that I'm gonna cook right now. I didn't want it to begin with, so. <laughs> oh wow. It's the meal that we started a couple nights ago. I was already mid prep when we realized the kids were positive and feverish and all that. So we like par cooked it and then stopped, put it in the fridge. So now I'm gonna go finish prepping and all of that but yeah it uh was a meal from a few nights ago so okay you guys have fun love you bye <laughs> well this isn't the worst dinner ever huh maybe this not the worst dinner ever <laughs> i mean it doesn't not gonna hit like pizza would no i mean it is saturday night and we usually have a eating out cheat kind of meal, but we've got so much food right now since our friend kept bringing meals over. Yeah, Broccoli. I dare her. I know, Take fill up our fridge. Good night. <laughs> we got broccoli, corn on the cob, and chicken and gelatas. That's a Weight Watchers recipe, so we'll see how it is, but it's like salsa verde and cheese and chicken. So this is what I was slaving away and trying not to hack my brains out into. We're having donuts. <laughs> <laughs> you know what makes COVID stink less? Donuts and bacon and fruit. It is Sunday morning and usually we'd be at church right now, but obviously we are not gonna go sneeze and cough on people. So we're listening to worship music and having donuts instead. Yeah, I'll just say a lot of prayers. Hello guys. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. Well, we have been recording this video for six days now. Started it last Monday, and today is Sunday evening. So, we almost a full week. <laughs> almost a full week of footage, and um, I would say you're back to what percentage? 84. 84 percent? But 
Hi. Maybe less. I don't know. I just can't get over this tired. Yeah. I mean, that could I, just be having two toddlers. I felt better last night than I did today. Mm. So, I don't know. Highs and lows. Yeah. The kids were really only down and out for like two days. Oh, so, they're back to, what, 95%? They're running circles around us. <laughs> I still feel the worst because I got it last. So um, I'm only like probably 60%, but I'll be okay. Now I'm just trying to make it, just trying to hold it together. I don't, it was a time warp. It just was like, we got sucked into just this COVID yeah. blur. I, I really, yeah, it does feel like it's just been a whirlwind. Like it dragged on, but also I don't really remember parts of it. <laughs> See you soon guys. I think we're done with this video. <laughs> picture. Okay, yeah, we'll take a picture. So that is the end of this COVID Chronicles. Until next time. <laughs> Thanks for coming along. Say bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Yeah. See you next time. Bye. See you next bye. time. Bye. Bye. See you next time. Until next time. Oh, that's too loud. That's too loud. Okay. Good night. Good night.